here's some trivia for you. At six words, The Greatest Show in the Galaxy is the longest story title to date in Doctor Who and won't be surpassed until the 11th Doctor era Christmas episode, The Doctor, The Widow, and The Wardrobe. Welcome to the Time Treadmill. I'm Ron, and these are my sweaty thoughts about Doctor Who. The Greatest Show in the Galaxy returns to the kind of weirdness factor that was so gleefully apparent in stories like Paradise Towers and Delta and the Bannerman. And on that count, I love it. It's just weird and wild and completely of a piece with the Seventh Doctor era. Unfortunately, The Greatest Show in the Galaxy also opens with an absolutely egregious rap number. It's the first original song written for Doctor Who since The King's Demons, and I think the one prior to that was the terrible song written for the gunfighters. In any case, it opens with this rap number that's just, well, here, let me give you a little bit of a sample. Now welcome folks, I'm sure you'd like to know we're at the start of one big circus show. There are no, no, that's all I can take. That's all I can take especially for fair use purposes. When I first saw this story for the very first time, I commented in a blog post something along the lines of, well, that didn't age well, to which a friend of mine pointed out, and I have to say this is a friend who is the biggest Doctor Who fan I know and who watched this story when it originally aired. Anyway, he pointed out to me that no, it wasn't any good when it first aired either. This kind of mid-80s Sugar Hill Gang kind of rap just doesn't work. But what can you do? When you're playing with the weird, you gotta take the good with the bad. So there we have it. Now one really interesting thing about this story is that it almost didn't happen. It almost became a Shada type disaster. They had completed all of the exterior filming and were ready to go into the studio when there was a work stoppage that prevented them from filming all of the interior scenes. And the story came this close to being abandoned, much like Shada was, and for the same reasons. But because all of the interiors of the story are set inside a circus tent, someone realized that they could just erect a tent outside in the parking lot. And so they filmed all of the quote-unquote interior scenes as another location shoot. Granted that the location was just outside the studio building in the parking lot. But arguably, it made the episode better because they were erecting full-size tents. It actually looked better than it would have if they had built the proposed sets inside in the studios. So that actually wound up working out strongly in its favor. Now, I've got a few more things to say about the story, but I've got to save up something for tomorrow. So I'm going to call it a day here. I will see you tomorrow with the second half of The Greatest Show in the Galaxy.